Let your heart come from the fight And go through your darkness You will find your light Don't worry You gotta be happy Keep working today That smile will come one day Don't worry You gotta be happy Keep fighting today That smile will come one day Don't give a nut. 
the Lone Star State in Houston, Texas. Nighttime baseball from beautiful Minute Maid Park. It's the home opener of this new season between the New York Yankees and the Houston Astros. It's Astros baseball, and it's next on the show. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. And we are set for baseball here this evening. The left fielder, Brian Goodwin. First pitch on its way. And we are underway from Houston as the first pitch of the night is taken for ball one. Hit sharply on the ground. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Batting second, the center fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2 and 0. Oh. Now, this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Now, a ground ball for Altuve could be two to second for one. On to first, a double play. So, next to bat will be Zach Collins. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Now here's the pitch as he will look at a curveball right on the black apparently it's strike one. All over that one but a little out in front foul ball two out nobody on. Filthy change up that time but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. The 0 2 once more is looked at for ball one. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman, Jose Altuve. And now pitch on the way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Good cutter there, and he's got him behind the eight ball now, 0 and 2. Out in front of that one, may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Hit on the ground to third, gloved by LeMahieu. And that's the first out. So next to hit is Chaz McCormick. First offering. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey that two seam fastball is going to be the be all end all of this game right here. Who's going to execute? Is the pitcher going to be able to keep going to that well, or is the offense going to be able to make an adjustment and hit that ball in the gap? Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there, and that's the second out. So the bases are empty here with two gone. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Hard ground ball to third. And he whiffs on it as this ball's right under his glove.
Batting four. Not shortstop. Carlos. Here's Carlos Correa now as he puts it on the ground to third. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him and the inning is over. Ball set for the start of the inning and stepping in the long ball threat Luke Voigt. Here's the first pitch. Now the 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Smoked on the ground left side. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Runner at first following the error. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Joey Gallo. Now a bluff here as he steps off to look him back at first. From the belt, kicks and deals. Strong is right there, one down. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. From the stretch. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch and he fouls this one off. No score here as we play inning number two. Strong is there two gone. Next to hit Christian Yelich. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Has a look now the pitch. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Voigt is off of first with two away. And that fastball's taken but catches the outer third. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Ready to deliver the one and two. Fouled off. Another one two delivery. When a pitch is close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. High pop up. Correa has got it, and the side is retired. half of the second set to go and standing in is the switch hitting second baseman Abraham Toro first pitch of the A.B. now Montgomery has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat he rarely allows a large number of hits and he does a pretty good job at keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact swung on and missed that strike two. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, one down. So the next to bat will be Miles Straw. Now here's the first offering. 
Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Bottom of the second here with no score. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. And there's out number two. Now with the plate is Alex Bregman trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First pitch on the way. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a miss, and I don't think he was expecting a pitch inside. It's one and one. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam. Sandwich. Two balls and a strike to count. And the 2-1. Big rip at the curveball, but he comes up empty, and it's even at two and two. Woo, not a spot you expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. Three and two, full count. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. The next 3 2. the middle. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him and the inning is over. <laughs> Top of the third set to get underway and set to go is the second baseman Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch to the left side, but it's well foul. The 0 1. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Fouled away. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. The next 0-2 misses and that'll move it to one and two now. They try to come in with the fastball but it's too far in and it's even at two and two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. The 2 2 one more time. And it's fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Ready now is DJ LeMayhew. The third baseman, DJ LeMayhew. From the stretch, here's the pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Up next, Brian Goodwin, one for one with a single so far. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and 2-0 to the Yankees' left fielder. Two 
2 and 0 count. Here it comes. Outside, 3 and 0 now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. A strike and it's three and one. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. And look out. That's in very tight, and it's ball four. Two down with a runner at first, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. He's set, and the pitch. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. For most people, being down 0-1 would seem like a lot, but this guy is such a good hitter. He doesn't care going deep in the count. He's got runners on base. He has a game plan every time he comes to the plate. Let's see how this one plays out. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Goodwin leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Runners on the move for second. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Bottom of the third now, and now it'll be the catcher, Martin Maldonado. The catcher. Now here it comes. Maldonado. Ball one. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Now the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Oh, let him. Diaz. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Ready with the 0-1. Oh, and this at-bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for this. Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to first on the hit-by-pitch. Second base. So okay. now here is Jose Altuve oh, looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. First offering on its way. Swing and a line drive. That's in there. Base hit. Throw into second. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. Now back. Left field. Yeah. Mick Corbett. So now to the plate, Chaz McCormick, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. And he fouls this one off. Base is loaded here, nobody out. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did it's ruled a strike. Count remains two and two. He's got a good feel for his off speed pitch his second time through the order and we just saw three in a row. Swing and a soft liner. And that's in there. Base hit. One run scores. And he's safe. The first base, number 10, Yuliette G. So here's Yuli Guriel. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. 
the bat. Not shortstop. Carlos. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa as he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center and that's going to fall for a base hit. Now a long throw to third. Tried to make it home when he shouldn't have and now they've got him hung up and they will tag him out in a rundown and that is Bonehead City right there. Now that the designated hitter Abraham Toro. Into the box Abraham Toro as he'll take a look at ball one. This lineup has a chance to knock this guy right out of the game. Four runs in the inning, and they smell blood. Boy, Dero, you hit the nail right on the head right now. This is a team that can score some runs. They have a pitcher that's reeling right now. They need to knock him out and knock him out ASAP. And able to lay off the fastball the way here. Two and one now. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. One there on DeVoit, an inning-ending double play. Is this redemption for my soul? So now to the plate, Zach Collins struck out in his first at bat. They've gotten a gut punch to start this game. There's no doubt about this, but that's when you have to turn the scoreboards off. Everybody do their job one at bat at a time. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Ah, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0 and 2. Collins. Bats left but throws right and stands in at six foot three. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Oh and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Hit hard. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Fouled off. The next one two pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Diaz is there one away. Next to dig in, Luke Voigt. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. The pitch. On couldn't lay off the pitch inside. It's 0 and 1. Fouled away. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes, and the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. He's set. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Fouled off. The next 0-2. A bouncer up the middle. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Now batting, shortstop, Gio Urshela. In now, Gio Urshela. He'll swing and lift a ball fouled off to the left and out of play. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Fouled away. Gallo, the runner at first with two gone. Another one sent foul. 
He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Popped him up. Guriel has it, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Miles Straw. The center fielder. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the Astros put a man aboard to get the inning underway. The bat, the third baseman, Alex. And that'll bring up the Bregman. former first rounder, Alex Bregman. One ball, no strikes to count. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Judges under it, one out. And he scurries back to first base safely. One out, runner at first. Up and up next, the former yeah, Angel yeah. Martin Maldonado. Maldonado. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back in. First pitch coming. Here it is. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Four runs, six hits, one error so far for the Astros. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Here's a look over to first. Runner back standing. Maldonado behind the ball and two strikes. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches. Anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. Throw over to the bag, and he just manages to get his hand in. Runner, Runner goes. Here's a fly ball well hit. Racing back the left fielder at the track. Into the Crawford boxes and gone. Number 16. And that'll bring up Olympus Diaz. Diaz. Now this one's crushed. Left field line. He's through first and hustling for second. A leap, but he won't get it. It's off the wall. The throw to third. But he is in there with a triple. Now back, second baseman. Jose. Oh, Jose. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended do you think. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Voigt camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. So now into the box is Chaz McCormick. He drove number home 20. two with a single in his last plate appearance. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Diaz at third with two away. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. 
Love that pitch. As long as you actually get it inside like he did right there, the cutter inside is a very effective pitch. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes 2-3 to three for good measure as the inning is over. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And digging in is the veteran D.H., Christian Yelich. Christian Yelich. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good pitch there as he gets him to swing underneath it for strike one. I'm surprised we're seeing so many late swings on fastballs. If there's one rule of thumb in the game, get to the heater. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. Lined but speared on a hop. Now back second base. Labor. Cool. Next up will be Glaber Torres. Pitch inside the throw. And now two base tag is there. He's out at second base. Here comes the 1 0. And it's fouled away. No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Swings through it for strike number two. Wow, that was an ugly swing right there, and that tells us all we need to know. Nobody's picking the baseball up off this guy. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Up next, for the here's Yankees. the second baseman, the DJ LeMayhew. DJ LeMayhew. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. As he'll take a breaking ball, then off the plate for ball one. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. Now that left field. Ryan Goodwin. At the plate now, Brian Goodwin. As Strasburg will get ahead of him here with strike one. It was a walk in his last trip. Now this is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. He's got to find a way to grab some composure out there and not let this inning get away from him. He was dominating, and now he goes out and gives up a two-out single and then almost drills a guy. Get back in the zone. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. So two on with two away, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Borderline pitch right there. But as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well. He comes up empty that time as he's underneath it 0 and 2. Looked like he was going to wait him out see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well news flash he is and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves and he better be ready in the box. Two down runners at first and second. And a slider swung on and missed and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Yuli Gurriel. The first baseman, Yuli Eski. Now here's the pitch. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. A ball and a strike to count to the Astros' first baseman. Here it comes on one and one. Takes a look at a change up there and it's a ball and two strikes now. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better and you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Sharp ground ball to third. 
Throw to first is in time for the first down. So one no down, problem. no one Number aboard. Four. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. Correa. Albert Abreu gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Two balls and no strikes. Not even close with the 1-0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Two and one after the foul ball there. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Ah, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Digging in next, Abraham Toro. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he will make it back to second and be content with holding on there. Now back. Number seven. Into the box now. Miles Straw. As he'll get caught reaching on a first pitch slider for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. A little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Now a curveball misses inside. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And that ends the inning. Leading off the inning, it'll be Zach Collins. And they could use a spark from him here. Zach Collins. First pitch on its way. There's a swing and a high blast headed for the corner and right. A ball that's carrying. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. Now batting the first baseman. At the plate, Luke Voigt. And he fouls this one off. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And he misses with it 1 and 1. Fouled off. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. A fly out and a single for him so far. First delivery to him as he'll take a change up here for strike one. A check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Slider laid off for a ball. One out, nobody on. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Next, here is Gio Urshela. Popped into foul Gio. ground his last time up. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. Now, time asked for and granted by the home plate umpire. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now.
fouled away. Two out, nobody on. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Stepping up is Alex Bregman. Flew out last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Bregman. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hey, boys, he's lucky he's getting this pitch back right here. That's normally a wipeout pitch down and away. He hung that one. It looked like he almost confused the hitter. Skied into straightaway right. Gallo is there, and he'll bring this one in. Ready to take his hacks again. Martin Maldonado lasted a two run homer in his last at bat. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. Now that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, six inches. One ball and two strikes to count. Here comes the one two. Uh, got him off balance there as he reaches for one and grounds it to second. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now to the plate, Aledmus Diaz. He made it to third on a triple in his previous appearance. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. A ball and a strike now. Now the one and one pitch. Pops this one up. Urshela has a play. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. Seventh inning ready to roll, and standing in is the DH, Christian Yelich. The designated hitter, Christian Yelich. And now the first pitch. And Strasburg will get ahead of him here with strike one. Right side and right into the shift. He's got it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. First offering on its way as Strasburg will get ahead of him here with strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Behind 0-2 now. And he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. Everything this guy throws moves, and that two-seamer has a mind of its own. And it's two balls and two strikes now. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch buckled him at all. That was really close to clipping the inside corner. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Now batting. Next up is D.J. LeMayhew. He's one for two in this one. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. Yeah, he's grinded this one out, and he's got a chance to get through seven strong innings, Dan. That's got to light the bullpen up. Yeah, and it does, Mark, because you sit out there in that bullpen, and once that starter gets through the fifth and through the sixth inning, the, the tension starts to calm a little bit out in that bullpen where you only have to get six. Or oh, and he snags it out of midair, and that ends the inning. With the traditional seventh inning stretch. Last half of the seventh here, and striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. Second baseman, Jose Altuve. And it's fouled away. Oh, 
swing and a miss on the slider and he's quickly behind nothing in two. And did he hold up in time. A look down and no he went around at strike three. Into the box, Chas McCormick struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. One out, nobody on. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0-2. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. Next, it'll be Yuli Gurriel. He's two for three and looking for more here. First delivery to him. As he'll reach unsuccessfully at a slider away at strike one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. And here's a foul tip into the catcher's glove. Moves it to 0-2 now. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. The relay throw. But he is in there with a triple. Now batting. Good stop. Hello. Standing in now, Carlos Correa. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Popped up. Collins is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Ready to begin the eighth, and standing in the outfielder, Brian Goodwin. Brian Goodwin. Joe Smith has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. From the stretch, a bouncer to the left side, and this is going to find its way into left for a base hit, and the leadoff man's aboard to start the eighth. Here's big Aaron Judge as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself and it's ruled strike two. Protecting on 0 and 2 so we'll do it again. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Next up, Zach Collins. He's working on a one for three thus far. Hey, in the last at bat when he hit that home run on an off speed pitch, he didn't really crush it, but he certainly hit it well enough to drive it out of the ballpark. 0 and 1, here it comes. Now a ground ball for Altuve could be two. There's one on the first. It's a double play as their woes continue. The inning is over. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and standing in is the power hitting second baseman Abraham Toro. Jonathan Luizaga is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 43. First pitch of the A.B. now. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Judge is going back. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he'll make it into third base with a leadoff triple. The bat. Number seven. 
Into the box, Miles Straw, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Ah, and he'll make it back in safely at third. And that's over two and one. Loisega playing here in his age 26 season. He throws a four seam fastball, a two seamer, a curve, and a changeup. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, two and two. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. Gallo has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Bregman. Here's the first pitch to him. A man at third with one away. And he pops it up. Voigt is over and he tucks it away for the second out. At the plate now is Martin Maldonado. Runner in scoring position with Sudan. First pitch on the way. And that swung on and missed for strike one. When the pitcher on the mound's established in this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Tried to work it back to that low inside corner, but it misses one and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So here's the cleanup hitter, Luke Voigt, and his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. Now the first pitch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. The win would be Steven Strasburg's here, barring any late turn of events. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four-seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. Ready with another 0-2. On he goes with the slider that time and it's driven to deep right field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. Now to the plate here is Joey Gallo. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Comes set with the 0 and 1. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now it'll be Giorgella. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Center fielder giving chase. He's around first, heading for two. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Now that designated hitter, Christian Yelich. In is Christian Yelich. Swing and a liner. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. He bounced out last time up. Comes set and the 0 1. This is on the ground over to first. Guriel brings it in. And a step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record.